beautiful strangers and welcome to Cat React. I'm Cat and I react to pretty much anything I want. Nothing complicated, nothing fancy. Just a woman reacting to whatever she can stumble on on the internet. It's simple, it's amateurish, and that's the way I like it. Today I will be reacting to a film called Hexed. It's from 1993 and that is all I know about it. It was requested by one of my subscribers and uh, don't you guys worry, I am actually writing all these films down that you... Uh, comment that you suggest. I have a long list, so I am just going through it. I also want to point out that I have a Patreon now, so once that starts to get going, once I start getting um, members on my Patreon page, I will be looking at the comments there and the suggestions there, and they will take priority over the comments and suggestions here on YouTube. I will be watching the comments on YouTube as well, but the Patreon ones will take priority. If you want to join me on the journey of discovering what this film is all about, then great, hop on and let's go. What is this? Sir, there's a phone call for you at the front desk. Gloria, what gives you the right to interfere? You're late and there's an emergency. You're using the access code for Visa instead of American Express. I am not spending another New Year's Eve behind this desk. Oh! My God! What the hell is that? Midnight. Farewell, loser. I wasn't let go, Simon. Levine didn't fire you? Shit! I've hated guys like you all my life. Heterosexuals? <laughs> Look, she's everywhere. I like men who dare to be different. I like men to be indifferent. Indifference for those who could care less. I wish I saw a face like that in the mirror. We're gonna have an important guest here tomorrow. The fashion model from Europe, Velveeta. Hexina. I have been at this hotel for 12 years, Gloria, and, and I've just allowed myself to become like a permanent fixture here. Some things are hard to swallow, while others are easy. Yo, Gare! <laughs> oh, this is so good. Am I supposed to believe that that's real? Am I supposed to admire the craftsmanship that that took? Oh, Simon, look at this! Not you, Welsh! This man-child. Why is he such a bully? Message for you. My wife, she can call back later. I'm gonna be in all night. Oh! Ow! You know, I can clearly see myself 50 years from now. So, babe, can I call you babe? No, you cannot. She is a customer at the hotel you're working at. You cannot call her babe. Simon, I have a confession to make. I don't know Hexina. If you did, dickhead, I'd jump off a roof. Uh, hello, the guest in 1204 is asleep. Would you care to leave a message? Tell her Pratt called back. It's best to meet at my house for privacy reasons. I don't want to have to describe what I look like. Yes? Hello, it's Mr. Pratt. So what time are we meeting tonight? Oh. Nose. Yeah, he is getting himself into trouble. <laughs> Corvette? Unbelievable! You are so fired. You are stealing a customer's car. Whoa. Oh! Would you mind if we did this in the bedroom? What? 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 I'd be using some sort of protection. Yes! Uh-huh. Oh, yes. Close your eyes. No! <laughs> what? What? Oh, oh. oh my god, what the hell? <laughs> yeah, um, I don't think you like being Henry now, do you? My name is Matthew Welsh. I intercepted a message from Pratt tonight. I took his place. Why the fuck you do such a thing? 
I'm a little bit of a liar. That's not something to be proud of. You got about five seconds to tell me what's going on here. I'm gonna have a little chat with the police. Three months ago, I received these in the mail. That's me. What? Seven years ago. Where were these taken? At a hospital around here. I was a patient. What were you doing in the States? An American citizen, born and raised. My real name is Helen Spears. She related to Brittany. So how does Henry Pratt enter into this? He says he's a clerk at the patient records. What's he asking for? $400,000. He also expects me to fuck him. That's the part you got. <laughs> Women can have sex more than once, love. I, I just wanted to scare the guy. You. The whore, you kept me waiting all night. Would you like to meet now? Be at my house in 20 minutes. 1163 Carlotta Drive. Don't be late. Give your hand, I'm, I'm very good with those. My Ooh la la. Well, I guess if you're going to meet your blackmailer, you might as well arm yourself. Fuck! What, 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 what? But I, I left my earrings in your apartment. No, they're fine. You don't have to They were designed for me by Leno. That's okay. But they're worth a fortune. Okay, we'll get them later. Just let me do all the talking. Is the owner of this car not wondering where his car is? Remember, non-confrontational. Oh! She's crazy! Oh my god! And what if this was the wrong guy? You said you were just gonna scare him. I lied. When I was 16, I was seduced by an older man. I was emotionally and sexually abused. And then one day he just went too far. So I set some shrubbery on fire outside his house as a prank. This woman needs to be locked up at an institution. I said he perished, along with 32 other people. She killed 32 people? I spent six fucking years in that institution. On release, I jumped parole, fled to Europe, changed my entire appearance. Started Hence, Hexina. You're a fugitive. Yes. Uh, oh. The victim's name is Henry Pratt. Mailman found the body. Woman across the street heard something around 2 a.m. Identified a rental car out front. Registrations to the local Holiday Palace to one Victor Thummel. What, what did you do last night? Oh, nothing. Nothing. Slept with a psychotic supermodel and then went and killed someone. Are you Victor Thommel? Yeah, that's me. You rented the Red 88 Corvette from this hotel. Yeah, I did. What's this about? This is a murder investigation. <laughs> a murder? Ha! Are you insane, sir? I am leaving and you can't stop me. Dude, there are like five of them. What do you mean they can't stop you? Wait, I'm a Republican! Ow! 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 I certainly hope you've learned a little something here today, Mr. Thummel. The police just took an innocent man into custody. You cold-blooded murderess! I'm going to the police right now! A word against mine, no one will believe you've even met. You left proof behind in my apartment. Remember? Fuck! My fucking earrings! Fuck! I found this man rummaging through my belongings. I apparently my earrings are missing, and now I know who the culprit is. Simon Hexina was in my apartment last night. She tried to kill me. Simon, look, I know you have some little boy issues. I don't know if you have a small penis or whatever, but grow up. Do you know where Welsh lives? Maybe he is keeping my jewelry there. I work with Matthew Welsh. We were wondering if you could let us into Mr. Welsh's apartment. This guy has such a punchable face. Why does she have keys to his apartment? That landlady thinking she'd seen you were here last night. Your plane leaves in half an hour. What is that? Could Welsh for once in his life been telling the truth? Yes, but thanks to you, he's never going to be able to prove it because you just gave her the one piece of evidence he could have used. <laughs> oh! Oh! quickly as possible. Cab is gonna be here in about two minutes. Just get away from me. I'm so looking forward to making love. What is wrong with you? Uh, what? Oh my! Simon! I was gonna say, where's the noisy neighbor now? I've called the police on you! The model Hexina is in my apartment! 
He's committed murder, and there is a dead body in my refrigerator! No! Wait till the police get here! They'll beat you while I watch! What are you doing? Oh yeah, because nobody's gonna see this. If you did, I'd jump off a roof. Simon returned yet? He's avoiding me. You know why? No. Yeah. Because he knows that whenever I run into him, I'm gonna kill him. Oh, snap! How many dead bodies are we going to have at this hotel? He's clearly alive. He's he's alive, good. I, I like him. You come to think of it, the other two that I didn't like, they got what they deserved. Well, Simon, a bit extreme. Patriotism took a bizarre turn tonight when a local hotel employee wrapped himself in an American flag and apparently leapt to his death. Yes, I need the destination of one of your camps last night. Simon said something once about uh, throwing himself off a roof, but it just sounded like sarcasm. I reported 415. His landlady phoned it in last night. I just want to know who took the car, son. No! He sold him out? <laughs> Woo! He got a knife! <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Don't you have to pass an IQ test to be um, able to serve in the police force in the US? Tonight's top story is the manhunt for suspected killer Matthew Welsh. Matthew, what did you get yourself into? Hexina? She's behind all of this. There were just so many times that I could feel him mentally undressing me. Oh, God. Could you be more Karen? Look what I found. Yeah. Gloria, do you have a tape recorder? Yeah. How about a big envelope? I was... Does she just have those things lying around? <laughs> ah! Jesus Christ, this film is giving me more jump scares than the horror movie that I watched. Matthew, run! Matthew is not a murderer. This is an emergency. I need to page someone in the hotel. Will Helen Spears please contact the front desk? This is a friend of Henry Pratt who has been following you. I'll be on the roof of my hotel in five minutes. This is Matthew Welsh. I'll be on the roof of the Palm Court if you wish to try and stop me. Helen Spears! Haven't you learned? Playing games with me can be fatal. Evidence that you've lived a past life. By the way, you never did tell me exactly why you killed Simon. When you've killed as many people as I have, it's easy to lose track. Matthew told me that the model did the killing. I called the cops. They'll take us both into custody and hear a full confession. Yours. You've killed as so many people as I have, it's easy to lose track. I happen to know for a fact that you left your gun in my apartment. True, but I kept a knife. Woo! Make it all these fucking pals! Ah! Oh, my Oh. Gosh. Oh. Found my G-spot. Thank you very much. Ew. Attention all units. Code 3. Murder suspect spotted at Holiday Palace on Bay Street. The son of a bitch has returned to the scene of the crime. <laughs> Whoa! Why? Why is this her end scene? Why? He's setting the world record for hanging on. Go! What do you got here, sir? Get out of the room, sir! Okay, let's go! Airbag! <laughs> 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 
So I guess you don't need an IQ test to become a fireman there either. You got the story of the year, my friend. You've got a real friend in that girl, Gloria. I mean, she believed in you when nobody, and I do mean nobody else did. Uh, did, did you eat Clifford the dog? Why is your tongue so red? Okay, let's talk about it. Okay, that was me watching Hexed. It was fun. It was it was fun. It was different. I enjoyed it, although it gave me way too many jump scares. Did not care for that. What can you say? It was a typical 90s comedy... I don't know, thriller? I don't know what to call it. No character particularly that stood out, although, you know, hated Simon. Hated him. Well, he, he didn't deserve to die, though. Four out of five, I would say. It had, it had a good entertaining value. If you like this video, put that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I put in new videos five days a week. And also remember, I have a Patreon now. The link is in the description box down below. So if you want to support this channel, which I hope you do, uh, the link will be down in the description and I will be taking suggestions from there once it gets going. I'll see you in the next video.